Thanks to his extensive knowledge of how and when tornadoes form, Jeff has an uncanny ability to be at exactly the right place at the right time. Then, up close and in great danger, he films them, even remembering to change to a wide-angle lens. I like getting up close and personal. A lot of times when you're three, four, five miles off, you can't see what's actually happening. You miss a lot of detail. In May 2000, he got uncomfortably close to this tornado in Brady, Nebraska. As the tornado powered relentlessly closer, he realized that a solitary farmhouse stood in its path. There was nothing he could do but film as the tornado did its worst. The occupants survived, but their farm was wrecked. Doesn't matter where you live, I don't think anybody's safe anywhere in the plains, anywhere in Tornado Alley. Jeff's passion for storm chasing has helped save thousands of lives. On the 3rd of May 1999, a massive outbreak of 52 tornadoes carved through the suburbs of Oklahoma City. Jeff managed to send warnings to the weather service. Major damage at the airport, I repeat, major damage at the airport. It's leveled entire buildings. It's leveled entire buildings. That particular day I was on the road probably about 16 hours and covered about 750 miles that day. With the help of live radar information on his laptop, Jeff realized he was tracking the biggest and most dangerous tornado. It was almost a mile wide.